South Coliseum. 7.30 is bell time. Make your plans to be there and see these two guys right here, Jerry Lawler and Jeff Jarrett, as they go against the Moondogs in that big main event. Jeff and Jerry got to be feeling mighty good uh, over the action uh, of recent days. They, of course, got the victory in the uh, six-man match. Oh, I see our our assessment team or whatever that is over here. Yeah, she's out here. I wonder who that. She's been taking notes. Out. And so far, hasn't bothered us. Let's hope that continues. Uh, congratulations. You got something you want to say over there or something or what? Oh, okay. Well, let's get more on an upbeat note. Yeah, let's do. Because. Uh, Boy, it seems like things are going real good. I want to tell you a little story, Dave, that uh, happened last Monday night. I was leaving the matches, and I pulled in a store, and then a little boy come running up to me, and he proceeded to tell me. It took him about five minutes. He watched that match so closely, he told me how Jerry took the chair and put it against the black dog's leg, and how I took the chair, and then I put the figure four, and he kept telling me. He said, man, that is great. And boy, I fired up, and I was feeling real good. You know, it's, it's been a while since I felt good after a moon dog match. That's right. Yeah. But I was, then I started to walk away, he said, but you know what? He said, Jeff, he said, when are y'all going to get those moon dogs? When are you going to get those titles? And you know, I went from feeling real good to feeling real low because I got to thinking, yeah, we burned, Jerry burned Richard Lee. We broke the big black dog's leg. We broke Richard Lee's arm and put it in a cast. We've done all sorts of things. But the moon dogs have been untouched. They're still the world tag title, champ, uh, title holders. And they're basically untouched. Well, Moon Dogs, I want you to listen up real good. Pull your chair up back there, because I know you're going to be listening. Because in this world of wrestling, there's three types of people. Number one is who's guys that maybe uh, don't even get prepared for a match. They just step in the ring and say, I'm going to give it a try. <laughs> and then there's a second type of person who says, boy, I know one thing. When I get in that ring, I'm going to give it my best shot, and I sure do hope I win. And then there's a third type of person, and you're looking at two of them right here. And that third, that third type is guys who step in that ring and say, we're going to do whatever it takes. We're gonna, we don't care. We prepared ourselves outside the ring mentally and physically. And Moondogs, I want you to get ready. Because that little boy I saw last Monday night, I hope I find him this Monday night. Because, boys, I'm going to show that boy what those belts look like. Because we are prepared, and we're going to do whatever it takes to win. Let me just say this, Jeff. The Moon Dogs. The Moon Dogs. I heard you guys say it out here a while ago. The Moon Dogs been running roughshod over this area ever since day one, since the first day they got here. And Richard Lee has had that stupid little grin. You know why he's got that stupid grin on his face? Because he's stupid. That's why. <laughs> now he's got that stupid grin on his face all the time. And he's real proud of those dogs. And he thought. He thought that he had really pulled off the master stroke when he brought in the big black dog. Well, Richard Lee, where's your big black dog now? He's laid up somewhere with his leg in a cast, isn't he? <laughs> and you know how that feels because you've had your arm in a cast. But like Jeff said, we hadn't hurt those moon dogs the way they really want to be hurt, the way they really need to be hurt. And that's not just in their stupid heads because I don't think they feel the pain when you bust their head and they see their own blood running down their faces. I don't think that really affects them all that much. But what will affect them is when they don't have those world tag team titles that you see right over here, when those belts aren't around their waist anymore, and when at the end of the week Richard Lee comes in and it's time to pay them off. And that payoff is a little bit short because they're not the world tag team champions anymore. Then those dogs are going to start growling. Then those dogs are going to start barking and biting. Then they're going to start hurting. Well, let me tell you something, Moon Dogs. You're looking at the two guys right now who don't like, they don't like at all walking around with no belts around their waist. You're looking at two guys who aren't used to not being champions. I don't like not having the world heavyweight championship belt around my waist, and Jeff don't like not having a belt around his waist. We're used to wearing the gold, and we're used to representing all of these wrestling fans out here the way champions ought to represent somebody. And let me tell you something. This Monday night at the Mid-South Coliseum, the interesting stipulation about this title match is 
Anything goes, boys. Oh, yeah. And if you think you've been hit with everything but the kitchen sink, well, Monday night we'll bring the kitchen sink. I can assure you that. <laughs> because we're going to beat you within an inch of your life, and we're going to walk out of there with those World Tag Team titles held over our heads. And, Moondog, you can crawl away with your tails between your legs Monday night. Jerry Lawler, Jeff Jarrett, no time limit, no disqualification, no stopping the match. Must be a winner Monday night at the Mid-South Coliseum. Back with Dr. Death and Nurse Cratchit right after this.